beautiful child in the world. Come stand before me this day. Come worship as your heart desires. I love you, my child. I love you with every fibre of my being, for I created you, and I am your Father in heaven. You are my beloved child on the earth. I long to be with you, to speak with you daily, to impart wisdom and knowledge and revelation so that you can release it on the earth at this time. I am gathering the nations. I am gathering my children to hear these words at this time. I am opening ears to hear, eyes to see. I am making you known, my children. Up until this day you have been hidden. But now I am awakening the world to your reality, to all that I am doing, to the message I am releasing. I will draw men to you, my children, men, women and children. For my words will go forth and not return void and I need the world to listen. I need the world to hear. I need the world to respond. Blessed child, I thank you for all you are doing for me in my name. I know you are exhausted at this time, for you have worked so hard, tirelessly, for no obvious result. You cannot see who is listening. You do not know how these words are affecting people. You simply release my words and let it go. But I promise you, people are listening. These words are touching hearts. Lives are being changed and transformed and renewed. Just keep going, my child. Just keep turning up each day. And I promise to give you the words to speak to the nations. I see the battles you go through, that you are both going through to get to this day. But you have built a home for my words and I thank you. I thank you for the hours and hours you have spent writing, reading, releasing my books, my words to the nations. I see the hours and hours it takes to make these videos, how long it takes my child, the energy spent, and for no reward, my child. But this is about to change. I am awakening people to your reality, my child, this day. They will come. You have built a safe place for my words to dwell, for my spirit to go forth. And I will send out a call to the nations to come and listen, for it is my words that are being declared. This is my book, my words, my videos, and they are now all available in one place. And I thank you, my child. I thank you for writing continuously for two years. I thank your sister in Christ for walking obediently in this journey with you. You are my maidservants, my two women with the wind in their wings, releasing the oil, the scroll, the flying scroll. You have it in your hands and you are releasing it to the nations. And I thank you. I thank you for all you have done and all you are doing, even now. No person on the earth will know how hard you work, but I see. I see all you are both doing. And I bless you, my children. I bless you abundantly. For these words will go forth and lives will be changed, souls will be saved. Eyes opened, ears opened to my love, my glory, my kingdom. I am sending forth an invitation into the world. And those who accept this invitation will walk into paradise. And those who reject and deny my offer, my kind offer of forgiveness and mercy and grace and eternal life, they will be separated from me at life's end. Any person who rejects the Son of God, my Holy Son, Jesus Christ, will be cast out of my kingdom. For why would I want any person in my kingdom who does not believe in the Son of God, who does not want to worship him, love him with all their heart and soul? 
Why would I want anyone in my kingdom who rejected him, who despised his ways, who never read his holy words, who did not care that he died on a cross? I do not want such as these in my kingdom, for how could it possibly work if you do not know me, if you do not love my Holy Son, if you are not filled with my Holy Spirit, then why would you want to come into heaven and be where I am, where the angels worship me night and day, where every person there believes in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour and loves him eternally, believes that he is the Messiah, the Chosen One, the Sacrificial Lamb, the Lion of Judah, the Holy Lamb who was slain. Blessed children in the world, I ask if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, that you bow your knee and you repent of your sins and you ask for mercy upon your soul and you turn from your wicked ways and you change your bad behaviour and you walk in righteousness according to my words and my truth. I will help you, my children, but you must be filled with my Holy Spirit. You must be born again. You must receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. Blessed children in the world, I am opening the door to heaven so that you might catch a glimpse of all which is to come, so that you might realise that you need to make a decision for Christ this day that you cannot continue living as you do in sin and debauchery in lust and greed and envy and hatred you must love your fellow man you must love me you must love yourself enough to want to desire freedom freedom from the sin the chains which bind you, the depression, the anxiety, the fear. On this day I am opening the door to heaven and I am inviting you all to come in and have a look. My two servants, my two women, with the wind in their wings, will take you in and show you all that is to come. For I have been training them for a lifetime and they are ready, they are prepared, they are equipped to do all I have asked. They have both laid down their life for me because they love me. They have not asked for a single thing, but now I have opened a door for them to release my words to the nations, my books. My child, you won't regret reading my words. I will bless you abundantly for any support you give to my children. They do not ask of their own self, but I am asking you to help them so that they can continue on this journey without any burdens, financial, emotional, mental, physical or spiritual. I ask that you pray for my two children, my maidservants, as they deliver these words to the nations. For this journey has been prophesied. My golden oil must pour forth, and I have chosen these to pour out the oil, because they are pure of heart, without sin in my sight, because they have been forgiven through the blood of the Lamb. They stand before me righteous and holy. Yes, they sin, they continue to sin each day but they confess their sins, they repent and they turn from their wicked ways. Therefore, my son, his blood covers them and they stand before me washed white as snow. They know me well, they honour me, they praise my holy name, they long to worship night and day, they long to dance, to rejoice. Every thought they have is with me, is upon me, is about me. I am in every thought. Blessed child, if you have never prayed, if you have never repented of your sins, 
if you have never been filled with my Holy Spirit, if you have never bowed your knee before my Son, if you do not know me as your Father, then I ask that you say the following prayer. My Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me today my daily bread and please forgive me of my sin as I forgive those who sin against me and lead me not into temptation but deliver me from all evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever Amen Holy Father I repent of my sins before you this day I want to be born again I want to be a follower of Christ Please forgive me of my sins and have mercy on my soul. Help me to change, to turn from my wicked ways, to forgive others as I ought, to love you with my whole heart and soul. Today I bow my knee before Jesus Christ and confess that he is Lord. I ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit that my life will be changed, renewed, that I will have the mind of Christ, that I will be a new creation in Christ Jesus, born of the Holy Spirit. I want to honour you all of my days. Thank you that today I am a follower of Christ Jesus, my Lord. I give him my whole life. I bow before you. I love you, my Father in heaven. Jesus Christ, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you for filling me this day with your love, your peace, your joy, your presence. I want to serve you all of my days. I want to walk with you in paradise. Please heal me of all sickness and disease. Please break the chains that bind me. I renounce the devil and his wicked ways. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beautiful child, thank you for saying this prayer this day. You are now saved in my sight. You will now walk into paradise at life's end. Your life will change completely from this day because you have handed your life to me and I will take over. I promise I will take over. I will renew your mind. I will set you on the path that leads to righteousness. For my name's sake. I will heal you and deliver you and set you free. I will break the chains. You will go from glory to glory. And my child, you will walk in paradise at life's end. Blessed Father, I thank you for this word of salvation. I thank you and praise you that many are falling to their knees filled full to overflowing with the glory of heaven, the Holy Spirit pouring out. I pray that the oil of heaven pours upon the earth right now, the golden glory, the oil of the Holy Spirit, your words going forth and not returning void. Lord, I pray that the people all over the world are opening your Holy Bible, are being drawn to your Holy Word at this time. 
Lady Anokoda Bashi, I pray that the gifts of the Spirit are falling down. Lord Ibiana, the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I pray the gifts of the Spirit are being released over nations, over people's lives. The gift of prophecy. Words of knowledge. Words of wisdom. Miracles. The gift of faith the gift of healing, tongues and the interpretation of tongues. Lady Mordorabe, I pray all the gifts are being released at this time. Prophecies being released all over the nations. Kaishakatakate, your words going forth. Your prophetic words being released now. Pashiki ki ki aleria totoro horo bashi. Lord of Botoroshi, I pray your scribes are being released to write your words. Books are being released. Books are being opened in heaven and released on the earth. Koda hilaria la hashiki ya bind the devil. Lilia hashia cut off the lives of every person so that your purpose for the world can be accomplished. Keep you in these times. Lord, break the chains of every Christian. That we will go forth and accomplish that which was predestined for our lives. That the devil cannot hold us back any longer. That we run like the wind and accomplish all which you have asked us to do. That now is the time to go forth on the earth. Kolohara, to not hold back, karashikiti, but to do all that you have asked us to do, trained us to do, prepared and equipped us to do. Your work for your kingdom, for the glory of God, for the glory of heaven, for the glory of Christ Jesus, our Lord and the Holy Spirit. O Lady Anokoda, fill this earth with angels. Rehiyada Hashikiti, ministering spirits sent to serve those who inherit salvation. Lady Botara, protect us. Koyahanoho, by your spirit, Lord, speak to us. Kolohora, each day, potoresi kiyana Hashikiti. Lord, increase our faith in Jesus' name. Halehe nohora Hashikiya hada had that we will have faith to move mountains. Faith, to declare your words to the nations, to not hold back in fear. Lord, about that I am not a kiyahashikiti, bind the strong man. A lady on of each person's life. Open our mouths, look at loosen our mouths to to speak your words. Lady Hana, increase karahayahashikiti, the power within us of the Holy Spirit, the resurrection power that raised Christ from the dead, that lives within us. Kopashi, help us to stand up strong, kiyaheshiki, confident, unafraid. O Lady Aha, we carry the victory of Christ in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits. He is the victory. The battle is His. The victory is ours. Lady Poterishi, we are your children, children of God. A lady, help us this day to rise up and declare your words to the nations, to tell the world that Christ lives. He lives, he is alive and he lives within us. A lady, one day he will come to judge the living and the dead. One day he will judge our souls. Korabashi kiti kalahorabashi, precious child. Ariana Hashiki, reach out your hand and place it in mine. I reach out my hand and the Father places his hand in mine. I want to dance with you, my child. I let it all for you have given all to me. And I want to refresh your spirit, your physical temple, your mind this day. 
I see the Father blowing, breathing on me. Like a rushing wind, his spirit pours over me. And I feel alive. And I feel peace. And I feel happiness. I begin to smile. And all the burdens, all the stress, all the pressure from the earth washes away with just one breath. I see the Father, he is still breathing life over me. I feel like I'm in the middle of the universe. Every cell comes alive within me on the earth. He is life, he is my life, and he can renew our souls. He can replenish us and strengthen us. He delights in us. My child, lie down in my glory. I see myself lying down in spirit, completely relaxed. I see the Father's angels attending to me. They are holding my hands. They are praying. God, Lord, I don't know what they are saying, but they are praying over me. I'm putting you into a deep rest this day, my child. I do not need you to do another single thing on the earth. I am restoring your cells. A new spiritual energy will enter you this day. My energy, my glory, my comfort and peace. I am renewing you, my child, because you have worked so hard for me with no reward. This is my reward. A thousand days in heaven. Do not worry about the people who are listening. Just keep turning up, my child. Finish the task. Leave the rest with me. Lord, I feel so slain in the spirit. I feel so caught up in glory. Being with you is so beautiful. I feel like I've been broken down into a million particles that I exist, but I do not feel a tangible body around me. I am very conscious where I am, but I feel as light as the wind. You are having an experience, my child, of being in your spiritual body, of being light and free. Boundless, unrestricted. Oh, Father, thank you for this experience in heaven on this day. I delight in thee. I love thee. I hear the sound of angels singing, so beautiful, so glorious. I smile, knowing I am home, knowing I am safe, safe in the arms of my Father. Oh, how I love being with you, my Father in heaven. This is my special place with you. I know how much you love me, how you care so deeply for my soul, that you have been looking after me all my life, making things fall into place. Thank you. Thank you for the honor of these words. Thank you for the 2.2 million word book that we wrote and are releasing at this time. Thank you that souls will be saved. Thank you for strengthening us both on this day. We have run a very long race and we are tired. Please renew our strength, Father so that we can carry on and finish 
every message you need to declare on the earth. Thank you for a thousand days in heaven. We are so blessed, so honoured, and we cannot wait to turn up again tomorrow. My child, go to your rest this day. Well done, good and faithful servants, my beautiful women on the earth. With the wind in your wings, you will arise, and my oil, my golden oil, will pour forth upon the nations. And many souls will be saved because of all you are doing, the hard work you are doing at this time. Walk in my rest. I will do all which is needed from this day forward, my children. Just walk in my rest. I love you abundantly, exceeding abundantly. I love you now and forever. Amen. <laughs>